Uh, the steel mace is an off-centered piece of equipment. Um, it's heavy on one end and light on the other. Uh, when you use it for uh, fitness equipment, it's challenging because of the offset weight. So the handle is nice and light and when you hold it, naturally it's going to want to come off to one side. So you really have to get the upper body isometric contraction that you don't really get with any other piece of equipment. Uh, super challenging uh, for your upper body as well as your lower body uh, when using it to switch back and forth and you can add it to lower body movements like your squat, back and forth, and it's awesome. <laughs> I started using this steel mace um, just after I had my daughter and I wasn't able to do any of the barbell lifts um, or heavy you know, weight lifting like I previously had done. I couldn't run, I couldn't do anything. I felt pretty injured. Um, and the nice thing with the steel mace is you can use a lighter weight. Um, we start either at seven or 10 pounds and you get a really uh, challenging workout um, with just a small uh, weight because you can move uh, continuously, sometimes even for five and 10 minutes without putting the mace down. So I felt like I was able to get a really, really awesome workout in without feeling like I was putting so much pressure on my body and it allowed me to build my strength back up, um, probably stronger than I, than I ever have been. So um, I feel like I owe that to the steel mace. There is just something about it when you pick it up and you feel empowered, you feel like you can move well and you increase your strength dramatically. Do you have any spots available? Yes, we have a couple spots left in our steel mace uh, workshop. Um, we take 10 as the capacity just so that we make sure everybody gets um, good attention. Our workshops are a really good learning experience, so they're not a workout. Uh, we come with a growth mindset, knowing that we're learning something new. Um, it takes a little bit to build new motor patterns in the body. So we want to make sure that it's a safe environment and that you feel really comfortable um, learning how to use a new tool. I think if you are um, bored in your routine that you currently have at the gym, you're looking for something to progress your fitness level, um, something that's going to empower you and keep you excited about going to the gym, then the Steel Mace is for you. I would say anybody can do it as long as you do have that growth mindset and you're willing to learn something new. Um, I recommend it for um, intermediate um, people. So anybody who you know pretty much knows how to squat and lunge, you'll be good to go. Actually, it's really tough to injure yourself with the steel mace because all of the movements that we do are really controlled. Uh, the tension that you create uh, with the mace on the push and the pull really dials in the engagement of the body. So even though we can flow from one movement to the other, um, everything we do is actually quite a controlled pace and you're really dialing into activating the muscles that you're using as you move between um, each of those movements. So uh, that's why we do a workshop, make sure you know the movements first so that we can really dial in and then there's, there's really no where you're gonna injure yourself if you're really mindful about what you're doing. I hope I answered all your steel mace questions, but if I didn't, you can hit us up online, www.alternate-roots.ca, or search us on Instagram and send us a direct message if you have any more questions for me. Have a great day.